So working with native elements is great for focus behavior because they're automatically inserted into the tab order based on their position in the DOM. To give you an example, I've written a little bit of HTML here. I've got three button elements. And then you can see the output over here on the right. So there's three button elements rendering inside of my browser. Now, because the tab order corresponds to the DOM order, when I go and press the tab key, you'll see that the first button element gets the focus indicator around it. And as I keep pressing tab, you'll see the next item in the DOM order gets focused, and tab again. Now the last item in the DOM order is focused. Now it's important to note that using something like CSS, it's possible to have things appear in one order on screen, but actually exist in a different order over in the DOM. To give you an example of that, what I've done now is I've just added this inline style to my first button element, and I'm telling it that I want it to float to the right. Now what this is going to do is it's going to visually change the ordering of these buttons here such that our first DOM element is now appearing last on screen visually. So even though the visual order has changed, the DOM order remains the same. Let's see how that affects tabbing. When I press the tab key, the first DOM element is still focused, but now visually it's the last element in this group, which is kind of weird. If I press tab again, now we see that the second DOM element, which is the first visual element, becomes focused. And pressing tab again, I've got this middle element now being focused, even though that's the last DOM item. So the moral of the story is be careful when you're using something like CSS to visually change the position of your elements on screen. This can cause the tab order to jump around seemingly at random. And for users relying on a keyboard, this can be extremely confusing. For this reason, the WebAIM checklist specifically states in section 1.3.2 that the reading and navigation order, as determined by code order, should be logical and intuitive in your application. As just sort of a general rule of thumb, I like to tab through my page every so often just to make sure I haven't accidentally messed up the tab order. It's a good habit to adopt, and it's one that doesn't really require a ton of effort on my part. 